Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, in today's video, we'll talk about the car that is currently on sale, 45% uh, off, the Koenigsegg 121. And uh, there's quite a bit of things happening with this car this week. It's featured in this week's weekly time trial. This is the car to use uh, for getting the higher ranking for more earnings and also of course in the current uh, round round one of season two the special event uh, flashback version of the special event uh, one on one is also currently running and uh, yeah so um, and that event by the way if you don't own this car already um, you can win this car for actually no gold it was uh, one of those uh, special events from back in the day where if you kind of, you know, uh, play your cards right, so to speak, do your, you know, bot training, then you were able to snag this car for uh, more or less gold free. And uh, from what I understand, currently with the uh, flashback event, I believe it pays out 110 gold if you don't own the car already. And if you own the car, then you just get 25 gold. Um, so if you already own it, they're not going to like double reward you by nearly as much. But eh, I suppose 25 is better than none. Uh, and um, uh, there's a three hour instant service and instant upgrade offer once you start that flashback event as well. So uh, that's all great. Uh, we got to talk about the actual series this car is featured in though once you win this car and since uh, with a 45% discount offer extends to upgrades as well um, let's talk about the exclusive series this car is featured in uh, which pays 111 gold by the way I know kind of a funny uh, reward total right um, and the uh, racing dollar rewards, 111,000 racing dollars. All right, so let's check in. And to fully upgrade this car, as I said, in terms of upgrade-wise, uh, you can win this car with racing dollar upgrades only first. Um, but um, that is if you cannot afford some extra gold for... Uh, fully upgrading this car, which is going to cost you with a 45% off. It's going to be about 600 gold. Maybe 603 gold is exact. Like, not exactly 45% off, but uh, kind of rounded up number would be 603 gold. So if you can afford around 600 gold, and if you don't own this car in your garage then uh, you know you get to win this car for um, you know essentially free and uh, you'll have access to this exclusive series as well as a couple of bonus series a hypercar charge and angle homes advance so uh, and both of the bonus series this car's featured in this is the car that can 100% complete the series this is a really good conic sec by the way um, I might have mentioned that in my previous video before because typically conic sacks do tend to be, um, you know, somewhat unwieldy. You know, like if you think about like Riera and Agueras, um, and uh, yeah, those cars do go very fast, but as fast as they go, there's always that like, you know, not enough grip to really, you know, make the car handle the you know make the driving experience more uh, enjoyable one to one has a uh, quite manageable grip it's actually really grippy for the speed that the car can take so this is i would say out of all the conic sacks in the game this is probably the best balanced so anyway uh enough with me yapping about that one uh race with the world's first Mega car famous for having a one to one power to weight ratio. Right. So, anywho, uh, and by the way, speaking of the bonus series this car's featured in, not the exclusive series here, 
um, you would need to basically spend some oh how much gold do you need to spend to meet that PR requirement uh, with the sales you would need to spend about 526 gold um, so instead of spending 955 which is what you would normally need to spend to meet the PR requirement of like 95 basically so um, yeah so hypercar charge requires PR 95 Angelholm's advance requires PR 94.6 so you know it's like yeah not enough of a distance a uh, difference may you know if you can meet 95 yeah might as well go with that so that will cost you at the moment 526 gold as suppose 955 which means you're saving 429 gold there and if you fully upgrade this car to have access this to this uh exclusive series normally it'll cost you 1095 gold right uh but right now with 45 percent off it's closer to 603 which means uh that is a savings of like 400 uh 492 you know somewhere around there so something to keep in mind so that's what i mean if you can afford it it's a heck of a deal and uh reward wise yeah the first first uh 25 percent completion gets you six gold that's why we end up with a that funny 111 gold for total rewards but uh hey you know what i'll take it <laughs> so uh, let's see um Anywho, so this is a 18 tier exclusive series. So that means 48 events total, 45 trophy events, and three time trials. So speaking of time trials, the first one takes place at the Le Mans 24 hour circuit, as you can see here, tier four. And the next time trial, tier nine, this one takes place at Silverstone Bridge Grand Prix circuit. And the uh, third uh, time trial you can find in tier 14 takes place at the uh, Laguna Seca. Right, so those are the three time trials available for this exclusive series. And uh, yeah, in terms of the, let's talk about the rewards again. So in order to achieve the 25% completion, the six gold reward, you would need to complete 12 events. So that could be 12 uh, gold trophies or 11 trophies and one time trial, or I guess um, nine trophies and three time trials, however you want to do it, right? Uh, but the number is 12 events complete. And then 50% uh, completion would re uh, reward you 15 gold, as you can see, 15,000 racing dollars. And that requires, well, 25. 24 events complete right since there are 48 events total half of that is 24 so uh, if you're just working your way from like every tier from left to right like sort of like the way you would have to run through your bonus series that would be like 22 gold trophies and two time trials and then 75% uh, completion will uh, reward you additional 30 gold and 30,000 racing dollars. And uh, in order to achieve that, you would need to complete 36 events. So 33 gold trophies and all three time trials and 400% completion, which does pay you some uh, decent amount, 60 gold and 60,000 racing dollars at the end um, would require obviously all 45 gold trophies and three time trials complete. All right, now uh, now the breakdown of events available in this series are uh, relatively well balanced. So like basically every uh, tier except for the three time trial tiers. So the 15 tiers have the, of course, the cup. Every tier has a cup, right? And uh, other events like variety events wise we have four autocrosses um, and let's see two drag races which is fine by me uh, uh, four eliminations four endurances four head-to-head -head, four hunters four speed records four speed snaps talk about like evenly divided right and thank goodness they uh, cut down on the 
drag race down to two. <laughs> so that's all fine by me. But anyway, so uh, the let's go through the event types by in alphabetic order. So autocross, there are four. Uh, first one you can find in the second tier. Um, as you can see, this one taking place at the Brickyard uh, Road Course. And then next time you'll see autocross is going to be in tier 8. Uh, Porsche Test Track Dynamic Circuit. And the third one, tier 11, you find this at... Uh, yeah, this one's going to be at Spa. And then the last autocross you'll find in tier 16. This one taking place at Daytona Motorcycle Course. Right. And then the two drag races you will find in the first one in tier 5. This one taking place at the Brickyard, the Speedway. I know. <laughs> Does that really make that big of a difference? I don't think so. And uh, the other drag race you can find in tier 13. This one taking place at the other NASCAR circuit. Uh, Daytona, once again, Speedway. So... Yeah, I mean, it's a drag race, so you don't really go full length. So it's not like you can really test out the, you know, car's top speed. Uh, but anyway, two drag races, that's fine. And the four eliminations, right? The first one you'll find in Tier 2, uh, taking place at the WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, formerly known as a Mazda Raceway, right? But uh, they gave up that naming rights a few years ago. So now a uh, new sponsor, right? WeatherTech. All right. And then the next one, Tier 8. This one taking place at Nürburgring Mühlenbach Life. The short technical circuit. And then the next one, you find it in Tier 11. This one at Porsche Test Track, long on-road circuit. And then the last elimination you'll find in the final tier, tier 18, taking place at Mount Panorama. All right. And then the four endurances, right? First one you find is going to be in tier 3, taking place at Hockenheim Short. And then next one you'll find it in tier 10 at the Le Mans 24-hour circuit. And the third instance of the endurance, you'll find it in tier 13. This one taking place at the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course. And then the final endurance is going to be in the final tier, tier 18. This one taking place at Dubai Autodrome International Circuit. All right. And up next, head to head. It's a series starter, isn't it? The tier 1. Very first race listed here. Uh, this one taking place at the uh, Leipzig Porsche Test Track short on-road circuit. And the next instance you find head-to-head, -head, you'll find it in Tier 5. This one taking place at Silverstone National Circuit. And then the third instance of head-to-head -head is in Tier 7, taking place at Catalunya National. And then the last one, you'll find it in Tier 16. Uh, taking place at Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. And then the four hunters next. Uh, first one you'll find in Tier 3. This one taking place at Dubai Grand Prix Circuit. And then Tier 7. Hunter takes place at Le Mans 24-hour circuit. And then the next instance you'll find it in Tier 10. Uh, taking place at Hockenheim National. And then the final fourth Hunter, you'll find it in Tier 15, taking place at Porsche Test Track Dynamic Circuit. All right, and the four speed records. First one in Tier 1 at Nürburgring Sprint Circuit, followed by Tier 6 speed record at Daytona Road Course. And the third one, you'll find it in Tier 12, this one taking place at Catalunya Club Circuit. And then the last speed record, you'll find it in tier 17 uh, at Manza Junior Course. And then the last uh, event, the sort of the variety event type, speed snaps. We got, as I said, four. First one, you'll find it in tier 6. This one taking place at uh, Laguna Seca. 
And then second one, you can find it in tier 12. This one at Hockenheim Short. And then the third one, you'll find it in tier 15, uh, taking place at Hong Kong Circuit. Yeah. Back in the day when they used to actually have events take place at Hong Kong Circuit. I feel like we don't have anything happening there anymore. Um, and I mean, that track is tricky, you know. Um, but I like the variety. Anyway, the final speed snap, you'll find it in tier 17. This one taking place at Le Mans 24 hour circuit. So, uh, considering that 12 event completion will get you 25 gold, you can do 12 events complete quite easily. So, if you go through all the short events, right, like autocross, drag race, um, speed snap, right? So, let's see, four autocrosses, two drag races, that's six events complete. And then if you do um, the four speed snaps, you are at 10 events complete. And then if you do, I don't know, uh, guaranteed single lap um, event like head to head or speed record, head to head is pretty probably the easiest uh, one out of the that group uh, for the most part regardless of who your opponents are I feel like head-to-head -head, you usually come out ahead uh, especially when all cards are fully maxed out you know you're not like you know coming from you know coming with the lesser lesser car so to speak right uh, so then you already have 14 events complete right there so that is easy 25% complete right away and uh, the reason why I mentioned those events is, of course, because they are short, meaning you can get through those events in a single go without needing to service your car. So there's that. And uh, yeah. Um, and uh, so uh, with that all being said, let's, take to uh, let's have a look at the cup races, right? So tier one, we're starting out with a bang. 24 hour circuit right it's gonna be a two lap cup so um not the longest but uh you know any multiple lap race at le mans 24 hour circuit um does you know it's it's lengthier right and the tier two the cup takes place at daytona motorcycle course and this is gonna be four laps all right and tier three, the cup takes place at Melbourne. And this is going to be a six lap cup. So yeah, some of these cups are going to be uh, getting, uh, you know, like running your service bars down. Let's just put it that way. And then tier five, uh, we got the cup at Porsche Test Track, short on-road circuit for six laps. And then tier six cup takes place at Nürburgring Grand Prix, and it's going to be three lap cup. So with this car, that's not too bad. And tier seven cup is at Monza Road Course for another three lap cup. So the cup races are well, medium. They're not terribly short, but they are not, you know, really extensive either. You got just a you know three lap cup at Grand Prix circuit right here at the another one Dubai Grand Prix three lapper for tier eight and then we got another uh, time trial tier and tier ten we got the cup at the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway four lap cup and then tier 11 we got the silverstone international circuit cup and that's gonna be a five lap cup and tier 12 this one's at brands hatch in the circuit eight laps once again with this car that's gonna go in a flash and tier 13 we got suzuka grand prix cup another three lap grand prix cup and then tier 14, of course, is another time trial. Tier 15, the cup is at Bathurst Mount Panorama. Four laps. So, so far, I think that might be the longest cup so far. Because I think otherwise the 
two laps around Le Mans, I think might be the next longest one here. And uh, wait, yeah, tier 16. Now we got a six lap cup at Catalunya Grand Prix. Oh no, five lap, my bad. Um, I was gonna say six laps at Catalunya Grand Prix would put this on top. Five laps, well, Catalunya is not as long, I don't think. Uh, and tier 17 cup takes place at Hokenheim Grand Prix, and this is gonna be a seven lapper. So that one's uh, okay. Gonna be a little bit lengthier. And then the final tier, tier 18, the cup takes place at Spa. And that's gonna be a whopping 10 lap cup. So now there is a race with this car. So there you go. So the payout should be pretty decent in terms of fame and racing dollars for this 10 lap uh, cup at Spa. And the final tier. So uh, yeah, so that'll do it for the sort of a quick rundown of this exclusive series. What it's gonna cost you normally versus uh, with a 45% uh, discount offer. So if you can afford, as I said, around 600 gold. You know, you get at least, I mean, if you fully upgrade this car, right, then you'll get 111 gold from this exclusive series. You get to win, what, 110 gold from the the flashback events. So you're already getting 221 gold back, um, which brings down the net cost of the ownership just based on those down to um, like 400 gold range. And then remember, the two bonus series the cars featured in, you will also be able to make some decent progress through those. So if you own the other cars, then you know you, there's another four, uh, 80 gold to be won in hypercar charge, and uh, 81 gold to be won in Angelholm's advance. So even if you don't 100% complete, um, there's gonna be like around 50 gold available to pick up in Angelholm's advance, and um, like 47 around there for hypercar charge. So, you know, that combined, that's another like 80 gold knocked off, meaning all of a sudden the cost of ownership for this car is down to like closer to 300 gold, which isn't accounting for this week's time trial, right? So if you rank, um, you know, let's say uh, top 1%, that knocks out another 100 gold then uh, you're talking, you know, 200 gold range to win this car. I mean, own this car. I say that's really good deal. So there you have it. And even if you rank, I mean, with a fully maxed out one to one, I cannot imagine anybody not getting into, let's say, top 5%, you know, which pays 50 gold. So yeah, well, you know, even that, that's a pretty... Uh, you know, good payout. So, you know, in terms of like lowering the ownership cost of this car, I say that's uh, pretty good. And as I said, most of all, this is the best handling Conic Seg in the game right now. So that alone, I think is uh, saying something. So anyway, uh, there's my rundown of what I think about this exclusive series with that discount offer. So thanks for sticking around till the end of this video hopefully you guys found the information useful and uh yeah i'll have the link to my playthrough of the special event one on one in the description box below so you guys can check out how how i won this car uh with zero gold spent and uh yeah so that will do it and we'll catch you guys in the next video all right take care